Well, I've done this a million times. I've answered your question. But I'm going to point something out. And I know you're just talking about music and everything. But I'm going to point something Hold on, my dog is chewing on something. Get that out your mouth, boy. Come here. You better stop running. No, get in there. Eat stuff off the floor while I'm trying to do video history. Okay, you can follow me in here now. Okay, here's the deal. Now, I'm going to take this one step further. If you look at the substance in these songs, they don't mean anything. They're not saying anything. You hypnotized off the beat and you sing a stupid ass hook over and over and over and over. And look at the neighborhood. Look at how all these young people are carrying on and acting. Look how they carry themselves based on lyrics. Would you eat no something again, boy? Come here. There you go. Come here. There you go, boy. So, based on the lyrics. The hardhead people are getting hardheader. See, music is an educational tool. You can teach people with music. Now, the plight of America is based upon pop culture. You see what I'm headed to? So, the content of the lyrics don't mean anything as long as you're teaching a bunch of people how to be stupid. Smoke a couple of blunts, get your Remy Martin on, put on some stupid music and get dumber. That is the state of hip hop. There is no education in shoot this nigga, shoot that nigga. If, listen to every one of these songs. They always killing a nigga. We associate ourselves with being niggas. You understand what I'm getting to? It wasn't the hip hop industry that allowed this shit to happen. It's our pop culture. And what, be what better way to destroy a whole group of people but to make them kill themselves? We sing about it, they glorify it, and the shit happens. That's why it's allowed to happen. Think about Will Smith and parents just don't understand. That was cute and whimsical. Made sense. Look, you get it? It made sense. That story can't happen no more. The message from Grandmaster Flash. That they can't they can't do those raps no more. As long as you're talking about whooping some hoes ass, fucking getting your dick shunk, getting your groove on, some freaky stuff, blowing people up, killing people, that's all that matters. Hip hop has become a poison. And if you got little babies uh, doing the booty meat and shit, come on. Where are they going to be at 10 years from now? They're going to be giving up the booty me. So, look at the plight of pop culture on black people. And there you have it. Hip-hop is no more than a, a tool for hate. If the Klan would have planned this, if the Klan would have planned this, it wouldn't have worked no better than it did. You can sit back, get a bunch of people high, Teach them how to kill niggas. First of all, you got to make them think they're a nigga. So being a nigga got to be cool. Once they become a nigga, then you teach them how to kill niggas. What's up, nigga? Right on, nigga. You grab a record, they're talking about shooting niggas. You got little white kids with baggy pants on, toting guns, talking about shooting niggas. Man, I smoked that nigga. You don't hear him saying, I smoked that pack of wood. I put that crack in a box. I flipped that Mexican like a burrito. No. And even the Mexicans are saying, what's up, nigga? Now they believe they niggas now. It's a perpetual disintegration of society. Damn. That sounds pretty cool. So listen. I love your videos. You know that. You got me blushing and shit. But um, you have to think about it. Why things are allowed. Now you got Ice-T Ice talking about Kill a cop or some shit, cop killer. They shut that motherfucker down. But Ice T can scream about, I shot five million niggas down in one swap and, 
and they play that on the radio. Broad daytime. Play it on the radio. Two o'clock in the evening. Put it on loud. And that's how it is. You know, if it's hurtful or degrading, put it on. Because it's the self desification. I mean, they, 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 they're shitting on themselves. And they're teaching their little kids how to shit on themselves. And that's what's going on. It's not music anymore. It stopped being music once uh, Death Row and Tupac and all that, blah, blah. It stopped being music when the funny stories stopped being told. It stopped being music once, you know, man, that's whack. You talking about getting a job and raising a family, man. That shit is weak, man. Talk about doing a job, smoking a motherfucker. I blasted this son of a bitch head off the other day, pissed down his neck. Shit like that. Uh, I was fucking this dude woman and and shot his brother and fucked on side of his corpse. I mean, dumb shit like that makes money. Now, if it makes money and makes people stupid, that's a twofer. Couple with weed, nothing to do. And, oh, one more I'm gonna take it one more step further. I know I got three minutes and thirty seconds left. Look at TV back in the days. We had Fred Sanford living in a junkyard. Nobody wanted to live in a junkyard. Over that that old, living in a junkyard overshadowed the fact that he owned his own business. Oh, he lives in a junkyard. And then you got good times. They all living good in an apartment complex in the ghetto. Oh, wait a minute. The Jeffersons, they moved on up to a deluxe apartment in the sky. That's another apartment. We didn't even know that we can go buy a house till the fucking Huxtables bought one. Look at the plight of how our people are being taught. And then you can understand how stupid this shit has done got. Yeah, um, Soldier Boy, I give him all the credit. Do the Superman. He lucky he didn't get sued by Marvel Comics or DC Comics for saying Superman. Now, if he was saying Superman getting his groove on in the back of a Lincoln, I'm doing a Superman, my Lincoln, bent over somewhere, just stabbing it. But no, he's talking about a dance, which was pretty much idiotic. But he made money. Like you said, the hook. The hook, baby. The hook. You don't even have to have a hook in a song. Now, I want you to write that song you was talking about. And I want you to say it as a poem. And if any MC out there pick up on the song that she write, I'm going to throw a beat on my site. You grab my beat, her song, and we see what you got. Or I can just bust one right now for the last minute even. And now I'll leave you with 40 seconds to think about what did I just say. No, I won't do that. But... Take, for instance, what you said, the hook. You don't have to have a hook. Just say some devastating ass words or whatever. And then right as the hook gets ready to come in, just have a gunshot. Pow! Pow! Number one selling record right there. Talk some shit, then have gunshots. Pow! 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 And then you see fools walking around the street, almost said niggas. You're talking about pow! Pow! Doing a little bah, whenever the gunshots go off, have a head shake like that. They be doing everybody shit. Bow, nigga, bow. They're fucking lemmings. They're being programmed to be stupid. Smoke some blunts. Man, put on the new ice cube. Oh man, he's doing family shows, talking positive. Fuck that. Put on some, uh, put on some busted baby. Let's go see if your sister at home. Come on, man. I mean, baby girl, you shouldn't even comment on some shit that you know is done for a reason. They let brothers and sisters run amok, and they tell them it's cool, and it's not. And when the world sees you doing your little minstrel show, pants all around your ankle, talking about nigga up, nigga up, stand. What's two, black, two things a black man can't do? Smile and take care of his family. Well, every video like this. You've been too.